was at Weber Point that a traditional Cinco de Mayo celebration took place, and it was a family fun event, no trouble at that celebration. It was after and after a car show at the fairgrounds that police were called and chaos began. This is cell phone video given to KCRA 3 showing police trying to control crowds after two separate events in Stockton, a Cinco de Mayo celebration and a car show. Police tell us they received dozens of 911 calls about several people blocking streets. Officers responding say they saw a crowd of about 200 on Martin Luther King Boulevard. Cars doing burnouts in the intersections and people just hanging out on the street corners. That's when the crowd became rowdy and began throwing bottles and rocks at police officers. You just cannot throw rocks and bottles at law enforcement officers. And if we can identify anyone who threw a rock or a bottle at a police vehicle that had our officers in it, they're looking at assault with deadly weapon charges against police officers. No officers were hurt, but six patrol cars were damaged and two men from Tracy were arrested. Police shut down MLK Boulevard, but the trouble did not stop there. Some drivers went down the street and started a sideshow in a Kmart parking lot on Mariposa Road. Burnouts in parking lots where they're spinning their cars real fast, and it's very dangerous. We've heard tragic stories of sometimes cars losing control and going into the crowd and striking people. So obviously something that we don't want to see here in our city. There are visible tire marks from the sideshow that took place here in Stockton just last night. Now police investigators are looking through video and pictures to identify those involved. Organizers of the Cinco de Mayo celebration say they do not want what has been a family event for more than 20 years ruined by people from out of town. And then to see that the day, what I thought was a very good day for the Latino community to be marred by such ugly violence and uh, disruption. So it's really disappointing. Now tonight, investigators will continue looking through video, continue looking for license plates. Right now, they believe most of the suspects are from out of town, but they have not stopped this investigation. If they find them, they could be arrested.